but I feel a lot better when it comes to this. I'm working out upper body again. Uh, I'm kind of sold. I'm kind of sold, but... What's up guys, Don back from the Lee Sofa and today we are looking into my recovery process. That's right. Now, if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you should know that I tore my pec, okay? I know uh, the. it looks like I tore my bicep, but what it's actually happening is, from my knowledge, as of right now, it is a strain on the pectoral muscle. March 3rd, I'm going for my ultrasound and I will find out if it is a pec tear or not. Uh, at the moment, I am not sure. I'm pretty sure it is, okay? I'm pretty sure I've looked up some symptoms of pec tear. The doctor, when he did the x-rays, also said it's probably a pec tear as well. Anyways, here it is. This is what's going on. Now, the one thing I want to talk about, what I am taking in order to speed up my recovery process, TB500, and we are going to get into it today. Now, like I always say, guys, like, like this video, share this video, subscribe, and what I want you to do, number one, leave a comment down below. Let me know what city you're from. I like to know where my viewers are watching it. I'm in Canada, as we know. I see different things, like obviously the US, some Canadian cities. Uh, South Korea, UK, it, I love it. It's crazy to me. Rep your city down below. That's what I want you to do. But right now, we are going to get into TB500. Now, when I first tore my pec, uh, I was completely desperate. From what people were telling me, it was a second degree tear. That's what the physiotherapist told me. And I was going to be out for at least six months. And it completely killed me. So right away, I was like, what can I take? First thing that came to mind was HGH. I do not take HGH. I think it is very overpriced, uh, just not for me, but I was willing to, to get back into the gym. And a buddy of mine told me about TB500. So I decided to do some research. So TB500 is a synthetic version of thymosin beta-4. Now, this is a protein found in our cells naturally that helps with recovery. Some of the benefits to this are accelerated healing, injury recovery, reduced inflammation, and more flexibility, along with endurance and strength increase as well. How it works is it regulates actin. Now, actin is a protein in our body that is essential to healing and wound repair. So it upregulates that and speeds up the recovery significantly. As a result of this, new blood vessels are formed and inflammation is regulated to essentially increase the recovery and the wound, accelerate it drastically. Pretty much, layman's terms, you are going to recover faster. Now, a lot of people also uh, can use this with BPC-157, which is another recovery hormone. I've never tried any of these before. This is my first time trying it, so I didn't want to mix the two. I wanted to stick with one, see how it works in my body, and hopefully I'll never get hurt again so I won't ever have to mix it again or use BPC-157. I just... I like to take my time with these things. I like to do it safely because then if something is a little bit off, a side effect, anything like that, I'll know it's from this compound rather than, I, I don't know, I got three different things in my body at the same time. Now, anecdotally as well, this isn't statistical data. This is just person to person anecdotally. Uh, they have also seen that there has been a growth of darker hairs. So people swear by this? I don't know yet. I've been on it for about one day, okay? I can already say maybe it is a little bit placebo, a little bit too early to tell. I already feel better. I mean, I can move it a lot more. I'm actually starting to work out my upper body again. The injury happened February 8th. It is now February 19th and you know, it's a lot better. It's a lot better. Again, it's only been one day. One side effect that uh, most peptides do have is nauseousness, headaches, or flu-like symptoms. Now, I didn't get any nauseousness or headaches, 
but I definitely got some flu-like symptoms. My nose is very runny right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but uh, let's see if that goes away with some time. So dosaging. Now, uh, I have seen if you are over 200 pounds, you should dose this at seven milligrams a week. You take this every other day subcutaneously, so that means into the stomach you inject it. Now, I am under 200 pounds, I'm about 185, so I take this at five milligrams every single week. I started out with two milligrams thus far. We're gonna take it, I'm gonna make some more videos about it, let you know what's going on. When we also go in for my ultrasound, we're gonna see if it was a muscle strain, if it was a pec tear, we have no idea yet. But for dosaging, I suggest five to seven milligrams a week, up to four to six weeks, that should be your cycle. If you need to continue after that, you would only need to shoot about twice a week, two milligrams a week as a maintenance dose. That's TB500 in a nutshell. As of right now, I mean, like I said, it might be placebo. I'm not sure, but I feel a lot better when it comes to this. I'm working out upper body again. Uh, I'm kind of sold. I'm kind of sold, but let's give it some time. Let's run the full course. Let's run the cycle. Again, guys, it has been 11 days so far since I injured myself. So let's see where it goes from there. And until next time, I'm out of here.